Well, I've ended up with a Q. Uh, look at this. I've ordered a case, right? But I'm gonna have to cancel it when I get in because he's just done me a deal in there. Do you know what? I've never felt so embarrassed in all my life. Uh, just going to Martin Chester of Clue Q. First time I ever go anywhere and I try and have a deal with somebody and he said, yeah, I'll have a deal with you. And all I've got on me is a credit card. How embarrassing is that? How embarrassing. I feel ashamed. Rule number one, Dennis says to me, always try and have a bit of dough around you if you're going anywhere. Uh, well, obviously I dropped a clanger dinner. I reckon I could have got. Uh, I reckon I could have. Uh, I reckon I could have got a good deal, better deal. But he did me proud. He done me. He done me proud because it's. Uh, I've got a Burroughs and what? 1930s Q. So it's a 90 year old queue, but they didn't know the exact year, but I'm, I'm going to take it now and get it because uh, it's got a bit splite spli on it, is it the bottom bit? I think it's just popping out and it, it's a bit dirty and that, it wants a ferrule on it. But Martin says it's alright to use now, but I'm one of the, I've got a bit of OCD, so I'm going to take it to David Bowens now. And I'm gonna have it uh, I'm gonna have it refurbed and all all spruced up. But he's just said to me that Billy Joe uh, Saunders uh, has been and bought a queue. He plays snooker a lot of snooker, so that's good isn't it? Kel Brook goes in there, Anthony Tomlinson, so they all play snooker. Nazim Ahmed. So, uh, where's that? Hang on a minute. Rear window. So I'm I'm uh, I'm pleased. I've got I've got. I mean, this is fantastic what I've got here. I'm really excited. So all, all in, it's going to be about 400 quid. All in, roughly. So depends what I get charged with what I have done on it, but. Should be about 400 quid all in. What do you do in it? So, next time you've had a drink, Russell, and you're partying, and uh, you shouldn't give me that's two cues I've given away when I've been partying, whacking balls about, thinking I'm rock hard. Yeah, I like your cue, Porky. Oh, do you want it? Oh. But then again, it was my dad's birthday, so. But, how stupid am I not taking the case? Let's let's just hope I can get home and uh, uh, get that cancelled. Fuck. for a bit of lunch now. It's me! Go on to Amazon and you'll see that I've ordered a case. Uh, cancel it, because I've got one with Q. Hey up, Dan. You all right? You going, I'm all right. I'm on East, I'm on East Bank Road, bottom of East Bank Road. <laughs> You're not. I can see, I, I'm just filming in car, I'm just going to show a photograph of you in snow, is that all right? Hang on a minute. 
Look at him here, there. Eh? <laughs> I mean, let me just pull up here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm on Abbeydale Road freezing my nuts off, and you're skiing. Hey. And I don't even know him. Hey. You know, say hello to Pokey Road. Say hello, Pokey Road. Hello. Say hello, Pokey Road. Hello, Pokey Road. <laughs> who, who, who is it? <laughs> Who's that, a Finland bloke? I've only just met him. Where's he from, Finland? Hey? Where you from, pal? Where you from? Yeah. Where you from, Finland? Yeah. Mr. Nokia. Yeah. Den, is it cold there? Is it cold? Minus four, he's pretty mild for you. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. Snow. Yeah, I've just been to uh, Martin Chesworth's queues, you know, on Abbeydale Road. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he, uh, he knows your dad. He, he said his friend Steve Parkin used to work in the 70s for you. I said it's probably your dad, actually, because you'd have only been a nipper then, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, we're only about seven or eight years old. Yeah. <laughs> so, but he sends his regards. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so... Pardon? Did he get you a discount? Uh, no, he didn't give me a discount. He looked... Actually, I know you you says to me that you should always take some money, out we, whenever you're going shopping. He was going to have a deal with me now, and I, and I only had credit card on me. <laughs> I felt embarrassed. I took coat off, he's looked at me chain, he goes, here, you look like you'll have a deal for cash. I went, yeah, I went to pay him, they have no cash on me. <laughs> But, <coughs> but he's, uh, he's found me a queue, a Burroughs and Watt queue, that's got a couple of faults with it, but he said he's got the exact same queue, 1200 quid, but this is once some work done to it and that. I'm going to take it to my mate's shop and get it done now. So he has looked after me then and he's given me a Peridone case as well with it. So I'm happy. So, yeah, we're all right, we're a nice guy. Hey? I'll come and play it. Yeah, I've got them torn. Hey, you know them balls that he, you, you got me for my birthday? He's got a set in there. So I should have should gone there, shouldn't you? Shouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, but, uh, I'm going to say to you, Mick, Mick see me on Pat, on, on Pag, and he wants me on next show, Mick Whale. Yeah, 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 that's good, isn't it? That's brilliant. He, uh, he's I just sent... He's what, mate? <laughs> I don't know who he's matching with. He says, I might have to fill in for he. With Steffi Bull. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't look like he wants to fight me, Dennis, does he? Yeah, I think he's either overpricing his sin or he's trying to not make weight. Yeah, he's, uh, I think he fears me, then, do you know what I mean? He knows who I've got behind me, doesn't he? No, I think he thinks that I'm going to maul him like one of these grizzlies out here, what's in his woods. <laughs> like I did to you in Bulgaria. <laughs> Before you put combination like, into me. Like a bear of me. Like a bear hug. <laughs> like a bear hug. How long are you there for? Two more days. Is it nice? Yeah, it's just different, isn't it? You know, like, for kids, you know, we've it's been on reindeers today. It's just something different, isn't it? It goes, uh, somebody told me that it goes dark at night and that right early, does it? Look at it now. Yeah, and what, is it, and what time are you now? Dinner time, like, yeah, like here, yeah? <laughs> No, it's three o'clock. Uh, and it and it comes like about half past ten and goes back dark about half two, three, three o'clock, three o'clock now, right now. Dark now, going dark now. Ah, looks alright. What digs like you in alright, obviously. <laughs> now we've just got a cabin. We've just got a log cabin and we're all in the same room is. Hey, all in you. Oh well they've got one joined on to ours, but our way me, Sarah and Babbies are in the same room. Oh, that's all. It's got that Christmassy feel to it, then, hasn't it? I suppose. Oh, like great. In toilet and shower, they have a little room and they've all got a sauna in it. Cause it, yeah, that's good, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Then got so yeah, it's right. Quaint. It was cold when we turned up yesterday, and then you just get used to it. Can you ski like that? I can't ski now. I've never done it. Can Sarah ski now? No, that's one of ski slopes. You can have a, you can have a ski lesson in this. Can you see to uh, uh, the uh, things there, what you, take you up? Oh yeah, like a lift thing, innit, yeah. Ski lift, ski lift or something, oh. Ski lift there. I might just go on ski lift and come back down on ski lift. Well, at least you're getting some fresh air, aren't you? Oh, it's 
so fresh and healthy here and you don't feel cold, you know, in all this. I'm yeah. wet through underneath. Never. I bet your Sienna's darting about like a nutcase, isn't she? Both, both of them are. Love it, don't Crackers. they? Yeah, Sienna, I love Crackers. it, don't they? Are they skiing as well? No, they're just going on toboggan things. Yeah, little toboggan things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're going on one of them, um, you know, them, um, you know, them motorised ski thing, you know, like a motorbike yeah. on skis. We're going there on one of them tonight to see Northern Lights, hopefully. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, you've still got it all figured out, haven't you? Look at you with your, with your goggles on, Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look like Eddie the Eagle. <laughs> oh. Hey, listen, have you seen response for Josh Whale, what he's had? It's amazing, isn't it? They had him on, uh, I wish I could have come to the show, but I, I felt rough. I was I were crap last night. Mick's show were fantastic, Dennis, honestly. But Josh mm. Whale had, they had a, a special do for him at Barnsley Football Club in a five course sit down and all that. They're all clapping him and everything. He, he's done brilliant, hasn't he? I can't, I can't really? believe it. Respond, my, my email box is chocker for, for about questions well, about what well, next for him. Proper fight now, that's where I want to try and get him in a. A decent, uh, a decent ranking in world if we can. Mm, yeah. That's what I'm going to try and do. But uh, yeah, if not, we'll do that intercontinental IBO. Is that what you want to do? See, an exclusive there for you from the promoter. IBO Intercontinental, Josh Whale, next fight. He is, he's on world scene now, isn't he? Yeah. It's an, it's an option. It's an option. So. It's an option, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. It's looking good, isn't it, for Josh? And yeah. and everybody around him, it's uh, and I've heard a little whisper, Dennis. And I know you'll not mention any names, but I've heard there's a couple of serious people, a couple of big names might be. Uh, well, I've heard you in talks with two particular people signings. You might be signing some new people, so so it's all looking good then. I, I know you've come from nowhere, haven't you, Dennis? <coughs> You've come from. You've come from nowhere, Dennis. All of a sudden, lately, aren't you? Yeah, we're just trying to we're plugging, plugging away, aren't we, Bob? Plugging well, away. do you know what? It's funny actually, because Mick mentioned it to me yesterday. He said, when you think about it, when you break it down, there's Frank Warren, Eddie Hearn got TV. Mick Ennis is it and miss, and there's you. That's it, isn't it? Really, there's nobody else, is there? With telly, so. No, I mean. M MTK are potentially the biggest of the lot. Yeah, yeah, obviously, yeah, yeah. I forgot about them, yeah, they're, yeah. Obviously, Televideo yeah, to their production, don't they? Yeah. But we, but we, but we were with them and, and when, when it suits everybody, yeah. so like, um, I've, got, I've got a good relationship with, with them lads and the. Uh, they, they've been fun, amazing, them. Oh, MTK, amazing. oh, the, the biggest out there, aren't they? The massive, aren't they? Everybody works for yeah. them, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody gets paid. What I wanted to ask you while I've got you on the phone, Dennis, what do you think about Tyson splitting with Ben Davidson? I don't know because, like, uh, and he just knee jerking after his last performance. I don't know. I mean, he's had one or two bad performances in the past, but you know what I think, don't you? I've said it to you before. I, yeah, you I, like I Tyson. Stay with Peter. But, you know, you know, who am I? I mean, mm. I, it's just my opinion, that's so, all. Because I don't mm. like to see really anybody split up just because they've had a bit of a blip. We all yeah. have blips. Yeah. Um, they just still stayed together. You would have benefited from it because he'd have come on more gradual uh, at the side of Tyson, and I think uh, you would have been a bit stronger for that. Um, whereas um, he's, he's took fights, maybe. He's, 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 he's gone a bit too early, but you is a talented kid and he can uh, he can come again. Uh, but I think if they'd have all stuck together, they'd have been so much stronger. But look, there's plenty of time still in here. There's plenty of time for you. Eh? Oh, you uh, is 25, isn't he? Yeah, he's got plenty of time. I just uh, I just wish they'd have all stayed together because I think they're a, they're a very strong unit together. But look, people fall out. Nobody knows that more than me. Um, um, but there's, there's plenty of time to go, plenty of time to go, and I wish it have, uh, like I said, I wish uh, Tyson this day with Peter. Yeah, yeah, I do, I do as well, because we like happy endings, don't we? 
I mean, it's, you and Clinton stayed together from beginning to end, and I always use that as a yardstick, and I get so much hammer over it. Because I always think, well, that's how I, I think it should be. I, I, I mean, I, I, we aren't me, Russ. You want to be a millionaire, and uh, people could say what they want. He absolutely no chance. He would have been where he were. Uh, monetary wise and probably wouldn't have got the fights what I got him anyway yeah. and uh, a lot of people say but I don't like to brag it off but, it, but it, I suppose it's true it's what people say and, I, and I'm inclined to agree with him and they want to have had as much money uh, uh, if he hadn't been with me so he's a millionaire he's got he owns plenty of property got plenty of money in the bank so what an amazing group. so I, I'm just thank, thankful for that um, and uh, I've done it, you know, helped a few kids from nothing to, to get up to Pinnacle, and I so... I've seen his car the other day. You've done well. I've seen his car other day. N1 WBC going through near Gleedless the other day. I've seen it, a blue BMW with private plate. Ask him who bought that. Who bought it? Yo. You're looking at him. That were nice, and nice. And that Rolex on his, on his wrist and... I played it all sorts, you know, I, I, I made sure they were, were okay. Cause you were we were a good out. team, weren't you? Yeah, and pulling him out at Roy Jones, making sure he didn't get hurt and things like that. It was all, it was all part, of, part of the journey. I think it says in his book, and it sounds really ready, uh, that, he, that that Roy Jones thing, that he, he thought I'd staged that thing when I, when I flew over and threw him on stage for his uh, for the press conference. He thought I'd I pre-arranged that or something, I read, somebody told me. Uh, yeah, it, you did, did you? Did you? I don't know. But anyway. Yeah, anyway, listen, some people sometimes then see things different to other people and I don't think there's any... You, you and Clinton have always got that bond, haven't you? I think so. Well, people, certain people in and around have uh, short memories, don't they? But uh, anyway, you move on. Um, yeah. We, we're doing okay. We're doing okay, pal, thanks. Yeah. We've been there. Seen it, CD, done it. We and we've done it for one or two, and hopefully we'll do it for one or two more now. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna just gonna touch on this before before I go and let you get up your ski on your ski slide. We we you plug your bag. <laughs> you're, getting, you're preventing me from getting up the piece. Yeah, uh, is this? Uh, are you now full on with boxing? Because obviously I've been with you now for five years in April, and I've never known you so on the ball with it because there's always been problems and I always felt like ripping my head against a big wall even just to pin you down for an hour now we seem to be having more meetings about boxing and sit downs and is this going to be continue we're, this is where we're going with boxing now aren't we full on because everybody keeps saying you're back and all this and Dennis seems to have a bit between his teeth is, is this how it's going to be yeah is Dennis back <laughs> There's still one or two things to straighten out uh, before I could say that, but you know I've got I've got me fingers in a few pies business-wise, and I've got yeah, two obviously. small girls that that, that uh, I want to spend a lot more time with, um, and uh, so I'm a family man at the same time. But at the same time, I like to win, don't I? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. You know we've got Tommy, we've got Cash. I'm working with with Richard Thomas, uh, uh, Richard Thomas, Tommy. Richard uh, Towers. And uh, obviously John Duke and then he's Glenn with with the kids, so we're all working together, and he's and he's creating a bit of a, a dynasty almost because there's some quality people there where I'm where I've got it side of me. Oh. And uh, I you know what unbelievable the job what Richard Towers is doing with, with yeah with cash, he's so doing well isn't he? I'm, I'm really excited about everything. John Fuchs since he's been in our gym and took over that gym, it, 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 it's amazing what the job he's done there. So well, look at Mick Whale now through. coming on with his gym and that and fighters coming through at Mix. And then I'm just gonna jump onto that and then you've got Mick Whale who's like old school who'll just keep providing and developing fighters and, and Josh when he eventually retires because people's gonna be looking at side at Josh, seeing how he conducts himself in and out of the ring, and you're just gonna benefit from it. So yeah. uh, we're gonna have kids coming through. We're gonna have kids coming through together and, and he's better work with proper people. Yeah. Last. Yeah, and you know and you know Mick but well, Alan, we've been with Mick now since April. There's not been one row, no problems with money, meetings at all, has there? 
Only time there's a row is when you look at yourself in the mirror. You can follow how <laughs> yourself is. Here, say hello to Carlton. Say hello to Carlton. Hello, Carlton. How are you doing, Carlton? You're on Porky's Corner. <laughs> He's just going on the teeth now. Yeah. All right. Good, All right. <laughs> right, I'll let you get off, Dennis. You have a good time. And I'll see you when you're back. All right, you take care, Dennis. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Uh, what can I say to that? I've seen Dennis in some um, in some positions of eight years, but that's a new one on me. <laughs> Old Franz Clammer. Do you remember him on Ski Sunday? He was one of them that slalom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's TV gold, isn't it, Dennis? Uh, I can see now why Terry Chapman Armour loves loves uh, Dennis. Uh, speaking of Terry, I forgot to mention it to him there, to, to that Terry. Uh, get in touch with me. You know what about, and uh, and I can I'll uh, I'll let him know what's going on, because for when he comes back, because uh, you're a bit better. At, we are a bit better. At, that's it than me, you and Rico, so... Uh, so that's good. Uh, can I just point out that I like Clinton Woods? And Dennis loves him, really. Sometimes, though, you know, people, and you've had a lot of success, little people, I don't know. It's, I, I, want, I want Den and Clinton to be mates forever, because let me tell you this, Area title, British, Commonwealth, European and a world champion. Clinton's got four wins of a world champions. The same as Chris Eubank, the same as Robin Reed. That's Eubank Senior. And Clinton did it the hard way. I like Eubank having all them easy defences on Barry Earn shows. And I wanna I wanna see I like happy endings, me. I like happy endings. But in life People who are close fall out, don't they? Look at me. I've got a brother I've not spoke to in 10 years. I've only just started speaking to my dad. I haven't spoke to my mother in over... I've not spoke to my mother since day my kids were born. Or day after or something. Day after my kids were born. Last time I spoke to my mum. That's family's fear, isn't it? Close people can fall out, get a bit of pride, a bit of ego, a bit of its principle, and sometimes all it needs is somebody to just sit down and say, what, what do we even fall out of her? Do you know what I mean? What, what's going on here? Might happen like that with me and Steffi Ball. Uh, let me tell you this, right? People keep saying to me, oh, Porky, you're only shooting your mouth off because you've got Dennis behind you. Listen, let me tell you this. Dennis is probably one that's sorted it so I don't go around and do something stupid because I'm more than capable. I don't like falling out. Falling out's no good. People should get on. Should all be honourable. Honourable and just get on. I like to get on with everybody. But this road feels familiar to me. Ah, here we are, Harrison's Cameras. Shout out Harrison's Cameras, London Road, Sheffield. I got a parking ticket up here once. But, but yeah, so I'm on my way now to meet a gentleman who has got a car pitch. And we're going to talk about car dealing, about cars and stuff like that. He's a friend of Mick Wales, I think he's Mick's brother in law actually. Lovely bloke. And I'm gonna have to drop this cue off later and have to explain how I've just done it best part of 400 notes when it's refurbished. That's a good explanation, that innit? Uh, well, I thought I'd treat me then. I had a cue and a case, but I'd give it away to my dad. Oh, don't even play with it. Unbelievable. But other than that, I'm alright. Oh, this is that place I went to. I ran about it's in a video ages ago. You see it there? 
Cavendish Express or something. Calabish Express. I don't know if you remember the video. If you go onto my channel, there's a video where I come up here and Dennis is having a sauna. And uh, we do a video on it and I were on about it in that video, I think, and it's here. I'm trying to think men that way now. February 2018, I think. Do you know what? It's very easy to go in a bus lane in Sheffield, isn't it? Very easy. 